It doesn't even matter if I know about you or anything now. I've achieved a lot today, to be quite honest. Uh, I don't I really love this place. I can imagine somebody sat here in the past, just up there, guarding and having a laugh. Maybe making love in the bushes. Who knows? You know, I'm talking about a long time ago, the Iron Age people. I might have to cut that bit out, people get offended, don't they? Oh, and this is the, the bottom bosom of the hill fort now. Hump one, hump two. It's a lone walker, probably going to have a picnic. Cook himself some... Looks like he's got a sleeping bag and a tent and everything. And some blokes will do that, you know, they'll uh, wild camp. And they've got no fear. They don't worry as much as a woman would. So, I would love to be able to be that brave. I mean, it's only society that makes you not. You know what I mean? That's why I, you, when I go, I usually go in the campsite. But at the moment, there's no panic. I've got enough to explore just in Somerset. I mean, there's so, Somerset's fast. But I still feel I want to get away for two or three days in my with my tent. It takes a bit of organising, mainly for security reasons. But uh, it's a shame, but that's how it is. Anyway, we're going down now to what's called Dolbarrow. It's Dolbury Warren, but the little hamlet is called Dolbarrow. And I'm really, I've done a one massive circuit, circuit. Not just that small hoop that was shown on the maps earlier. No, this is just one really big, very, very enjoyable walk I've had today. And this will take me down, ready to cross the road. That busy A38 that I crossed earlier. And uh, I'm not going, like I said, I'm not going through the Knoll Hill private wood. I'm going up the usual route on my little track. Up to Sanford Encampment. Well, there'll be lots of families camping because it's half term. And when you've got all this on your doorstep, at the moment, it would be much more difficult to know how to get here if they stopped this particular bus. It's the only one. The 51 is the only one. There are Bristol buses. You, you then have a big hike before you even got here. Do you know what I mean? We just have to keep our fingers crossed. I can't see them cutting Winscombe off. All right, Cheddar's got wells to look after it. But Cheddar people still can't get over here unless they've got transport. <sighs> well, if you live in Cheddar, you can do this walk. You can walk it. It's a bit too much of a hike. From Western for me to walk now. And I, I've had, I've been walking since eight o'clock this morning. I got on the bus at quarter past seven. And it takes about three quarters of an hour. So I got here at eight. And it took a good couple of hours to skirt the base of the hill fort on the other side. Not knowing where I was going and I enjoyed it though. It was a bit creepy at times. It was darker. And of course it was grey sky. I'll have to do a lot of uh, adjustments to the photos to get the light out and the colour. Uh, with Sony I always produce really good photos. I never had to do any of that with Sony. This is a uh, doll barrow. Of course, right over there in the distance, 
Yeah, that's Capri Hill Fort, is it? That's Capri Hill Fort. Oh. I think I'm, this is what I can't, I will class this as one of my bigger walks, so. Um, small walks are still allowed, but. I'm trying to fit in as much as I can because that's the, if you want to get out early, you can get out for two quid. Do you know what I mean? Don't know why I didn't think of it before. Right, folks, goodbye, Dolbury and Dolborough. Oh, I just left that turned on then. Tents up. Good week for camping. Of course, uh, when I last time I was over here, I walked, skirted that knoll hill and its wood, and then came out further over at um, Sanford. Yeah, you'll see me having my tent there. Actually, what a lovely view. Yeah, easy for me to do if I. We can get the bus there and just walk up the road with your stuff. <clears throat> might just be family though, mightn't it? Might just be family. <sighs> yeah, a few there. Uh, oh, it's quite a few. Quite a few there. That's probably a bit like my one there. Alright folks, we're having a great time. Lovely walk. Hardly moaned at all. Every now and again something will spark me off, but most of the time I've controlled any moaning. Because it's such a lovely day. Now, obviously I moaned a bit this morning because it was grey sky and it was a northeast cold wind. It took quite a while for me to take my coat off. My windshield. Uh, yeah, there's a field there, look. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely field, that. So that's Knoll Hill, folks. <laughs> I never knew that before. Well, I've probably seen it on the map, but didn't take any notice. It was filled with, two weeks ago, it was filled with wild garlic. I've got to get one of the Quantocks yet. At the moment, this week, the trains are on strike a lot. So this week isn't possible unless they're okay on Saturday. I might be able to do it a Saturday, but I don't know if I'll be recovered from this. I'd just like to be able to get over to Holford. I, I don't know whether I got over, I might have got over there last year. Once, I think, I think I might have done. Right, here we go then. This is the little bridle path now that we take all the way back to Samford to get the number 51 bus home. Now I'm just feeling that breeze. You know why that is? We're approaching the sea where I live, Western Supermare, Breezy Western. Windy Western, Breezy Breen, Blowy Burnham on Sea. So we're good on this old <coughs> bridle way. And uh, I think we'll get more breeze now. We've been saved by the trees actually. The trees really, really protected me today. I didn't, from the moment I started, although it took me a while to warm up because it was freezing on the bus, I got cold on the bus. 
It took me a good hour to warm up from a brisk walk. Um, yeah, so it did take a while. But now we're coming back towards Western again. So the sea breeze off the Bristol Channel will catch us at times. This is going to be quite a big video today. I don't always show it all now. I think, well, people have had enough by the time I've, they're so big, the videos. Uh, the last one, I didn't share the end, but it was so jumpy and jerky and swayy. And I think there was a lot of moaning. I didn't share it. I didn't share it. Yeah. So anyway, I might turn off now actually. This is so we're on the bridle path. We're gonna come up to some gorgeous views in a minute over to um, Crooks Peak and all that sort of thing. So lovely, lovely valleys, the Vale of Avalon. I don't know if we can I can can't remember if we can see Glastonbury from here, but I would have thought it would be ha very hazy. And uh just super really doing this knowing that we've got I was well I would have thought a good two hours might not be as much now could be an hour and three quarters but we got time to plod like this so there's nothing worse than waiting in heat or the freezing cold they're both as bad as each other when you've got to wait Right, over and out.